Yo, welcome back to another episode, guys. So, I've actually decided what we will be doing is we're going to play this Bamba game. And then, we are going to sim the rest of the season and see how this team would actually end up playing on their own. Because I know last season we had that three-game skid. Then we were fortunately able to play with them and kind of carry them to a better season by upsetting some teams there. But I really want to see how they would do would they make a bowl game i know they have a pretty tough schedule so let's see and i did not take a look at the depth chart but it looked like our starting quarterback was is now that now a senior alamo so let's see is he actually the starter or not because i don't know if, if i'm playing i don't know if i actually want him maybe he's gotten a lot better but i personally prefer the five-star prodigy who carried us last year Oh, first drop of the game. Too bad. PA boot, baby. Let's see if we can get something going, man. Oh, fuck. Could not get that off. Four verts, baby. Let's see if we can get something. Hopefully Cross is a much better catcher than Duru. That was Duru's demise. That dude can... Interception. Too bad. They're going to spank us here. All right. So we are putting Eric Dunn in. He's an All-American, so he's definitely showed what he could do. Man's definitely improved a lot and deserves to be the starter. Alamo's a very good quarterback. I just haven't had luck with him when I've used him. This guy's number two is pretty crazy, so. Maybe bad read, yeah, triple. Thankfully it was not intercepted. We need to humble ourselves a little bit and go back to some smaller ball. Yes sir, cannot catch. Pause the game there. I thought I heard the dog doing something. So far, Bama's defense has been pretty good. Their pass coverage is good. I don't think we've ran the ball yet, but let's see if we can hit one of these guys. They're kind of pressing now, so we might be able to get something going deep. Nice. Only could have broken that. Terrell, let's see if he can get open deep. I'm kind of fed up with this team. It just does not seem like with this Purdue team. They definitely are really good, really talented. They just don't seem like they can get everything going. Like the receivers are dropping it. We have a really good quarterback. Just specifically this year, it seems like the line is the line. No matter how good they're, it just always seems like there's always a broken or two broken coverages somewhere. Oh, nice. Oh, get in there, Cross. What a stud. You guys think Purdue's able to upset these dudes? Last year we upset them, and I think they were ranked fourth. So, and we were ranked 12th, so that was a good win for us. Now we are unranked. I should have checked what Purdue was. Ooh, thankfully that was not that. We should have checked what Purdue was before the start of the season just to see. But let's just check what we are after the game. That way we know how many spots we jump from beating Bama. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 25 yard line. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. Oh boy. And we should be playing some actual skill full, I guess, plays. But uh, I've just kind of written this season off. I just, I just want to move, change the location, I guess. Unfortunately, we've not been offered a head coaching job yet, but the only benefit to sticking around is by the time we do get a head coaching job, no matter where it is, we will be able to hopefully get the instant scholarship leveled up to one or two, and so that way we can kind of go into a crappier program and pull some of those five stars who do not... Yeah, really, I guess, getting too much attention from anyone. Or four stars, the top 100 kids that just kind of ball out, but no one seems to give them attention. I think we could definitely pull in some of those guys and build up a program. Nice, there we go. Nick Williams, a stud freshman. Bama scores again, but let's see what we can do here. We're going to send them deep. That's the reason all the quarter or wide receivers and cornerbacks want to come here. Because these guys just... They pass the ball like no one's business. Nice. There we go, you see. Huge play. If you go to Purdue University, those wide receivers, you're probably going to be a first-round draft pick by the time you're out of there, or at least get drafted. Last last year, we had two get drafted. The year before, we had David Bell. 
Even before that, Rondale. These guys are just kind of going off. These guys are still losing after the type of game that this quarterback's having. I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. Yeah. They seem I know it's really cheese, but we got to keep this passing attack going. And I think the last time they were out there when they gave up I know such a long drive, taller. Damn, couldn't do much. Is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver? You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch. Man, he can't catch. That's why he's not playing wide receiver. He gets hit out of bounds around the 48-yard line. A nice job by the offensive line. Third down and two yards to go. Let's hope someone gets open. He's on the run. Rifles it right side. Nice, Terrell. Let's go. Defense is on the heels, baby. I do have a little curl. Nice. No one was really open there. I think this could definitely work out. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with how quick cro like Jaquiz cro crosses our running back. Seems like he's definitely a pretty good player. We might have to start running the ball more. Let's go! Andrew Lewis. Good to see him doing something. Quarterback's having a huge first half. Four passing touchdowns. Man, this would be an insane-ass game to go to. So much offense going on, not much defense happening. And they're pressing. Damn, this would be insane. That'd be awesome to go to this game. If you could have got that off the circle. Second and long. You guys suppose someone's going to get open here? Oh, yeah. Tight end with a huge play. Nice to see this tight end is actually using his hands to catch. That Garrett Miller guy was not doing much in the last last one. Let's hit him deep, see if he can come up with it. Over the shorter guy. Oh, no. He had it and just dropped it. That's too bad. Kind of got stripped there. Man, having David Bell was a luxury. That man caught everything. That good man was so good. Oh, wow. The, I think he's a five-star freshman, maybe? Yeah, he had to be. That man was fast. When he caught that, holy crap, he was taking off. That's insane. Holy shit. What do you think the final score will be, guys? Comment below if you're seeing this before the end. Or... Oh, let's get a pick. Yep. Damn. This game is insane. Now we're, now we're playing from behind, but hey, no worries. I have faith in this quarterback. He's a sophomore now. He's He's been through it. He's a big baller. He knows. The last possession didn't go in the favor for this offense. I'd expect to see them come out and be a little bit more conservative with some safe play calling in order to avoid another bad Nice result. play there, 43 yard gain. Having a lot of success is because of this secondary. They've been playing in very soft out there all game long. Mike won it all deep. Touchdown! Ooh, defense held them. This could be our opportunity to get ahead here. I know we're just sending them deep every play, but I, th I think I'm having fun, and I hope you guys are having fun. If you guys are not, um, let me know, and I might be able to change the play style to make it more realistic here. But right now, it just seems like I'm trying to move on to a better school or get a head coaching job somewhere. So we're just hucking it. Oh, man. PA boot on third and long. Now he's scrambling. Oh man, and he tackles him hard. Well, shit, man, we getting smoked now. Jesus, 483 to 444 yards. Let's see what they do this opportunity. Let's see what we can do with this opportunity. Oh man. Oh man. He's got it. Huge play, 75 yard. These guys are getting torched. You already know we're cheesing like crazy here. Apologize if you guys don't like it, but let's see if we can hit you see it again. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Bullshit. I should have just bulleted that. We're now down once again. This game has been insane. Let's see if they can be more successful here. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. He's going to air it long. 
Oh my god! He almost had that and then just popped it up. I don't know, man. I don't know if we're going to be able to win this. This is a high-ass scoring game. Of course, the one time we do run it, we're going to run a PA boot after it and hopefully you can fool him. Looks like they're going to be blitzing, so we might be fucked here. We're going to play it safe, drop it off. I'm going to run some slants here, but they're pressing, so some guy might be getting no open down deep. Oh, what a catch. Damn. Damn, the Dunn guy just established a school passing record. Nice. Just needed some yardage there. Holy crap. Yassine has got 386 receiving yards. Holy shit. Let's hope we can get a touchdown here. Oh, let's go. Rushing touchdown by the slow-ass quarterback. Huge touchdown there. Okay, well, this is uh, this is kind of crazy right now. So, 28 seconds left. Down by 7. This game is insane. Let's hope we can uh, score a touchdown here. And oh, what a catch. Holy shit. Of course, we're running four verts here. I think the right side's looking pretty open, so we might be able to get something here. Nice. If we score a touchdown here, I might have to call a hurry up just so that way we can go for two and try to end the game. Or should we play for overtime? I don't know. No, I meant to throw the triangle and I pressed uh, hey, the wrong button there. That could have been costly. Get those hands, Get those hands up and something good may just happen. They come out on an empty backfield. Oh man, this is crazy. Alright, we're going to try to ram it down their throat here. Touchdown! Man, need to call hurry up here, but I don't want to have this play call. Let's hope uh, the kicker's able to score here for us. Awesome, so we are in overtime, guys. This game is 63-63. I don't know if we got the ball first. I'm assuming we probably did, so we need to do something here. Cross takes the give. Dang, I was hoping for a better animation to get on in the end zone. Let's see if we can try to ram it on him here. We've had a lot of big plays today. That was a really good run by him. I think we're going to run it down the middle again. Let's hope they're not crowding. Oh, we got lit up. Oh, Alright, we're going to run four verse here. We might be able to Get an easy, easy ball here. Fuck, wrong button. And he dropped the fucking thing. What a fuck. We're not going to be a bitch. Let's go. Thank goodness. Okay, well, still in this thing. They scored and scored again, so now we have to match them. I think Terrell has a chance to be open. Nice, right on there. This game is insane. 696 passing yards? Holy shit. Cross, get your bitch ass in there, you fuckhead. Alright, we're running it down there again. Hopefully we can finally punch it in. Nice, there we go. Huge, let's hope the kicker makes it. Okay, he made it. Let's see if we can... Uh, Run the ball to the left side and just hope we can maybe take this to the house. I don't have too much expectations on it, but. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's huge. Let's go. I am not sure if I paused that there or what, but I may have messed that up. So, 
that is sorry, but we did just get a huge touchdown run there, so I don't know if you guys saw that or not, well, so hopefully you did. But now we have to go for two, so let's hope we can get this and be done. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Fuck. To the end zone, intercepted. They don't get it. Damn, that sucks. Now. Here's Reese Davis. Damn. Holy fuck. That is some bullshit. 85 to 83. Holy fucking shit. That is insane. That is some bullshit though. Yeah, so after that performance, I hope our team does go off, but I am going to sim the rest of the season and see how we end up. I'm really curious to see if this team can form at a really high level or not. So I'm going to do an upgrade here and then sim the rest of the season. I, we got upgrade after that, thankfully. But, I mean, 83 points up, that's insane. Thankfully, overtime was there, but let's see if we can get some good wins or even make a bowl. Oh my goodness, I just realized I had my mic muted. I don't even know if I've been talking this whole time or what, but... So we just finished the season, and... Yeah, that's not good. I wonder if those past videos I made did not make it in here, but we just finished the past season, 5 and 7. Had a decent recruiting class, so yeah, I'm assuming those previous videos did not have any audio. So if you guys are watching the series, you'll probably be wondering, like, why is this guy gone mute? And then you'll hear this point and be like, gosh, that guy's an idiot. So I apologize for that. I don't know if I had it muted or not for the Ohio State game. I'm a, or I mean Alabama. I'm assuming I probably did. So that's no good there. But um, yeah, I my my little thought process on this is we're gonna play the Alabama game, kind of sim the rest of the season. Really want to see how the team would do, and that's unfortunate that we were not able to win that one because of we would have been bowl eligible. And I doubt that my guy will get a head coaching opportunity here. Season did not do, I guess not go the way he's planned. So. Keep watching, and we'll see what happens. All right, so we just finished this season here, and it looks like they are uh, offering us, but we didn't impress people. Let's take a look and see what this contract has in store for us. So ever since we've been hired, we started really good, and we've just not been living up to expectations here. So, um, yeah, that's crazy. We finished somehow first in Big Ten. I don't understand that. Maybe it's our level? I don't know. But let's take a look and see if hopefully we can get a head coach job somewhere. We need to get out of here before we start. Oh boy. I don't think there's going to be anything available. We need to hop out of this program before we start getting less than that. And I don't think we're going to be able to get a head coaching job. Everything's been filled. Oh man. Yeah, everything. Not even the little guys are giving us anything. So let's uh, see. Um... My contract, I think another year, so that will be the year, I guess, that we'll have to extend it. I don't know how, if I can get back to it or not. Honestly, I think in the next episode, I might do the same thing, but sim the whole season. I really want to see how things go, but I have a feeling our team will do much better this upcoming year. Just due to the fact that we graduated that one quarterback, I think, right? Yep, him. I don't think he was ever that good. I don't see. I just don't think the game recognized him as really having too much talent. And I think we do have some studs coming in. Um, wide receiver wise, I don't know. The top 25 kids, we had quite a few, and I'd be shocked if the computer didn't really pull too many of them. It'd be nice if they pulled a lot, but I did see a few 70s at the start of this video. Oh man, Damian McKenzie. I know there's a few five-star receivers interested. So let's see who's all interested still. I think we've only got 11 kids committed. That kid looks good. He has scouted 50%. Let's see who's committed. So we got athlete, wide receiver, wide receiver, athlete. That's the van. Yeah, so we got some decent guys. Let's go all in with this guy. And we should be able to get him. Seems pretty good. So we did end up getting the four-star defensive tackle. That's a big get for us. And two left ends. I don't know where we finished in the class, but I doubt it's a top 25 like last time. And I hope we have enough players where we can cut. So 36, I'll take that. We got a five-star. Pretty cool. Pretty good for Purdue. I mean, I don't think they ever get five stars in football, so that's crazy. Let's 
check all the positions here. Yes, or quarterback room. Holy crap, they are going to be stacked. Brad Sullivan, Andrew Pitts, Alan Love, this guy, and this guy. So we, Purdue will definitely be loaded for the next at least three to four years at quarterback because these guys are all ballers. They didn't transfer. They're sitting it out. They, these guys will both be 99 by the time they're seniors. Running back room. Oh, no. Did the freshman... Oh, shit. I think he must have transferred then. Preston Terrell should be a huge get right there. He'll be up to in the 90s. Maybe even first-round draft pick from Brownsburg, Indiana. He will be good. He's already really good. Um, sophomore. This kid was a standout freshman. He was insane. Tight end. I'm glad we still have John. He catches a lot. Good for him. Left guard. Shoot. Oh, gotta move him there. And let's move him there. Yeah, this year will be a good year to dip. Just based off some line standards. You here. Let's see how good Yanni is. Yanni's gonna. Damn, this is senior year, that's all he is. This team will definitely be okay in the upcoming years. They have some room for improvement and a lot of positions that they could definitely do better at. Five star, where should he play? He could be a 70, 77 overall receiver. Halfback, I don't. You wouldn't fit my system for half back. Holy shit! This man's a freak. He jumped up from a 70 overall to an 80 overall half back, and he's a three star. Holy shit, this man is a gem. Holy fuck, that guy's stud. Purdue got really lucky getting that guy. Nice, two over. That means the computer did a pretty good job recruiting. I think there's some bums over here. Of course, that guy's got to go. And this guy. Man, he's going to get rid of that guy, too. Preseason. I really hope we get offered a head coaching job, because right now it's getting scary. We might have to actually start playing a lot. I should have accepted it after that first offensive coordinator year with Purdue, where we went really 11 wins. All right, let's hop on into this. I don't know. We may do a quick little run through, just redshirt some guys. Quarterback room is stacked. Holy crap. I don't know if I can redshirt these guys yet. I want to redshirt him because I don't think he'll play much. Looks like a really good player. These guys won't play at all, so let's redshirt them. This team actually looks like it's got some skill on it. He's not going to play. He's also not going to play. Let's shirt him. Yeah, let's, let's go for it. We, I don't think I'm going to play at all this season. So we're going to leave the schedule the way it is. And let's just see if they get a fair shake and can get a bowl. I know last year, I'm assuming we could easily make a bowl if we scheduled some FCS teams in there. The three you know, the conference games we get, but it's still an A for schedule. And I want to see if these guys are actually that good and can run the system, or if there's, you know, maybe it's just not, maybe it's just not time. Five star, five star. Dang. Good for Purdue. Glad to see them getting, I mean, quality over quantity, I guess. And I'll take that. Hopefully those guys end up coming. So that will do it for this episode. Appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for the next one. And I apologize. I'm assuming those past episodes maybe have my mic muted in them. So, um,. I apologize for that, but I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Please like, subscribe, and comment below. Peace!